Thank you again, Mike. All right, uh, let me please introduce our senior patrol leader, Dan Altamar, to begin the flag retirement ceremony. We are here today to honor the symbol of our country and retire a flag which has served its useful life as a symbol of freedom and our country. I am your flag. I was born on June 14, 1777. I am more than just a piece of cloth shaped into a colorful, colorful design. I am the silent sentinel of freedom for the greatest sovereign nation on earth. I am the inspiration for which American patriots give their lives and fortunes. I am the emblem of America. I have led your sons into battle from Valley Forge to Vietnam. I have been there through the Civil War, two world wars at Gettysburg, the Gulf War, and now Iraq. All of them. I was there with George Washington, Abraham Lincoln, Franklin Roosevelt, and John F. Kennedy. I am here with you now. When it comes a time when I am old and faded, do not let me fly in disrepair. Rather, retire me from my duties, only to replace me with a new flag, so that I may continue to symbolize our country. With this, renew your commitment to what I stand for, and pledge your allegiance one final time. As you can see, this banner of freedom before you um, <laughs> is worn, tattered, and soiled from use and age. She has flown proudly over the years and has done her job well, but now she must be replaced with a new flag to properly represent this great nation of ours. Color guard. Prepare to remove the colors. Remove the colors. The flag of our nation should always be a strong, vivid symbol of our land and fly brightly in our minds. Our flag is a symbol of our people, our freedom, and our strength. So it is now that we commit this flag, which no longer can fulfill these duties, to the fire, so that we may replace it with a new flag to properly symbolize our nation. May the spirit of this flag be born again in a new flag. Scout salute. Color guard prepared to remove the colors. I am your flag. I appear in many places. I have taken many forms and have been called on, called many names. I was authorized by Congress in 1818 in the form you see now and have remained unchanged except to add a new star each July 4th after a new state joined the Union until I reached my present number of 50. I am more than red, white, and blue cloth shaped into a design. I am the silent sentinel of freedom. People of every country know me on sight. Many countries love me as you do. Others look upon me with contempt because they don't allow the freedom of democracy that I represent. I am strong and the people of America have made me strong. My strength comes from your willingness to help the, those that are in need. You strive for world peace and stand ready to fight oppression. You feed starving children. You offer a home to anyone who will pledge allegiance to me. Your sons gather beneath me to offer their lives on the battlefields to preserve the liberty I represent. Scouts are some of my favorite people. I listen to your flag pledges at each gathering, and you learn and, and you learn how to raise and lower me as you grow through your ranks. I appreciate the tender care you give me. I feel your love and respect when you raise your three-fingered salute as I pass. Now I am tired, and it's time for me to rest in the sacred flames in which you now tend. Only you scouts and my veterans possess the honor needed to bring me to a proper end. To set my spirit loose, first cut the blue field away from my stripes. Seven red stripes and six white stripes together represent the original 13 colonies that gained us liberty. The stars represent the 50 sovereign states of our union. The blue is for truth and justice like the eternal blue of the star-filled heavens.
Place the blue field onto the fire. Tear each of my 13 stripes and lay them on the fire one at a time. As you do this, think of the original colonies and the pioneers who carved a nation out of wilderness. They risked everything to fight for the independence that we enjoy today. The red stripes remind us of the lifeblood of brave men and women who were ready to die for this, their country. Place the white stripes into the fire. Their white stripes are in red. White stripes remind us of purity of purpose, thought, word, and deed. Place the red stripes into the fire. Now I'm just a memory, but if there's a tear in your eye or a lump in your throat, if you felt a shiver in your spine as you watched me burn, then I will be back next time you need me, and my colors will be fresh and bright, my edges will not be tattered any longer. When I climb to the top of the flagpole, I will wave at you, remember the love and respect that you showed me here this evening. I would now like our senior patrol leader to end our portion of, with a flag pledge that we created in, uh, in honor of the Marines of Heavy Marine Helicopter Unit 772, who served our country in Afghanistan. On April 30, 2009, we went over to the Willow Grove Naval Air Base and we saw them off. We gave them a flag to fly in their camp and we continued to support them uh, while they were deployed by sending them packages each month. Last month, uh, that flag was returned to us at the Eagle Scout ceremony that Mr. Palestina referred to uh, just briefly. Uh, and as we saw those Marines off, we gave them that flag and in fact they did fly it during one of their missions and, and one of the uh, staff sergeants did return it and we have it now back with our group. So we're going to conclude uh, with uh, Danny Altamar reading the pledge that we read to those uh, soldiers as they left uh, here and went to Afghanistan. Thank you. Well, it is often said that the Boy Scouts represent the most wholesome youth movement in America. As Scouts, we recognize that our ability to enjoy our youth and take many things for granted is made possible by men and women uh, of our military who fight in faraway places to protect our freedoms. When we go to a ball game, go to the movies, or even go get eh, even to an after-school job, we tend to forget that we are enjoying the fruits of freedom. Many kids in other countries don't share these freedoms. While we may take our freedoms for granted, we do not take for granted the personal sacrifices of the men and women of our armed forces when serving our country. Their service allows us to be free and to take things for granted that only others can dream of having. While they will no doubt see many flags while away in the service of our country, we hope that they will remember that the flag we gave them is, is special. When it flies, it represents not only our country, but this flag represents the appreciation of the boys from their, own, from their hometown. And when they see that flag fly over their camp each time it waves in the breeze, we know they remember that we remember what they are doing. And we remember how important it is and that we do not, and will not, take their sacrifice for granted. Until they all come home, we will remember that each, of the, each flag ceremony we hold every week, every week we will reread this pledge, not to forget and to hope that they think of us every week too. We ask God to have each and every member of our, the unit return home safe. They will be in our thoughts and prayers until they do so. Thank you. And I'm pleased to report that they all did return uh, the, the night before Thanksgiving uh, last year. So, Mr. Palestina, 